Why do we remember? Why is it important not to forget? So that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. But, but we are. are. It's a long and lengthy process and not everyone can leave. Salma, along with her family and friends, lived happily and safely in Syria before the war. After conditions worsened and it became unsafe for her children, her family decided to make the long and expensive journey to Germany. The journey is extremely dangerous and very expensive, making it hard for some refugees to leave Syria. After passing through hazardous ISIS territory, Salma's family successfully make it to the Syria-Turkish border, but crossing it will be very difficult. Crowds of Syrians attempt to cross the border into Turkey, but danger awaits. Border forces have shot dead 16 refugees, including three children, over the past four months. After spending some time at the Turkish refugee camps, the felt like a prison. Salma had to pay a large fee in order to leave. Next, on a small boat with 58 refugees, including Salma's family, they travel from the coast of Turkey to a Greek island called Samos and then to Athens. Salma and her family were forced to wait to cross into Macedonia. They were given a number and after many long hours of patience, Salma's number was finally pulled and they can cross the border into Macedonia. But their journey is not even halfway over and Salma, along with her group, must walk in the dark to board a train to their next destination. The train journey is crowded and long, but after five hours they are very close to reaching Serbia. When they get off the train it is 3am and Salma's family are exhausted. With the goal of reaching Serbia, Salma and the group continue walking after only 30 minutes of rest. Luckily, they came across a volunteer who was assisting refugees. So with the help of the humanitarian volunteer, they reached a sub-refugee camp in Serbia with thousands of other Syrian refugees. They have only what they can carry. After walking and travelling for miles, Salma hears terrifying rumours that refugees will not be let into Hungary and if they're caught, there could be jail time. In Serbia, the temperature reaches almost 100, 100 degrees. Salma and her family wait 20 hours hoping for good news. After a long wait, Salma finds a trafficker who will take her family to a train station in Budapest. Finally, Salma finds a bus which will take them to Belgrade, Belgrade, which is one step closer to Hungary. After months of exhaustion and dangerous travelling, Salma and her group finally make it to Munich, Germany, where they are welcomed and offered other necessities.
Samo is relieved that she has finally completed the 1,500 mile journey through eight different countries, but also sad to leave her friends and family behind in Syria. Remember, Remember not everyone can leave.